Hey, it's Duke Lady from Uke Mullum. Thanks for dropping by. The next Uke night is themed 80s, and the song I've chosen today to show you is by a band called the Corgis, a one-hit wonder. And this is a beautiful ballad called Everybody's Gotta Learn Sometime. And I'm going to show you a little picking pattern that you could use to play the song. Before I do, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you'd like to support us even further, go over to patreon.com forward stroke uke mullum. That's where you'll find the song sheet for this song. The Corgis. Everybody's got to learn sometime. And this is an abbreviated version. And it goes like this. One, two, three, go. Change your heart And look around you Change your heart It will astound you I need your loving Like the sunshine Everybody's gotta learn sometime Everybody's gotta learn sometime Everybody's gotta learn sometime As I mentioned earlier, the theme for the next Uke night is 80s. And remember, if you can't make it in person, you can tune into this YouTube channel and watch it streamed live. Check this out. So to show you the chords for the song, the first one, how great is that? It's an A minor seven, also known as a C6, just the four open strings. The next chord, it's got a tricky name, A minor 13, and that may or may not be correct, so chord Nazis, just back off. So I'm gonna use the second finger on the second string on the second fret, followed by the A minor seven plus five, that sounds about right to me. First finger, first fret, second string. And then back to the A minor seven. So the next chord that follows that, I love this chord. It's an E7 plus five. So let's start with our E7. First finger, first fret, fourth string. Second finger, second fret, third string. Third finger, second fret, first string. To get the plus five, we're just gonna move that up one. So the second finger is now on the third fret of the first string. And then you slide that down back to the E7 to an F chord. You know the F, don't you? First finger, first fret, second string. Second finger, second fret, fourth string. And then we have a G, which we all know, peace man, these two fingers, First finger, second fret, third string. Second finger, second fret, first string. Third finger in the middle on the third fret of the second string. Then we have to land with our pinky on the third fret of the first string. And then we take it off. So it goes like this. And then we have E minor. We add our pinky 
to the 4th fret of the 3rd string, followed by the easy F, F add 9, 1st finger, 1st fret, 2nd string. And then we have a D minor 6. So that's your D minor shape, so that finger stays where it is, adding our 2nd finger to the 2nd fret of the 4th string, 3rd finger to the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, and now our pinky is also going to go on the 2nd fret, but on the 1st string. 6, D minor 6. So that run all together goes like this. From your G shape, add your pinky, And we end on a C, and it makes sense just to slide your, your pinky up to get that C. And then the next chord is that very interesting D7. So we have our C in place, and we're adding these two fingers like the Hawaiian D7. First finger, second fret, first string. Second finger, second fret, second string. So we're going from the C. Now we'll talk about the picking pattern I mentioned earlier. First of all, thumb goes on the top string flat like so. And then your other digits, one, two, three, each have the next string as you go down to the floor. So you've got thumb, one, two, three. You'll notice there's an angle my hand is not like so. It comes over the top, quite camp, high, and it just hangs, and then you just grab a string. Thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger. You want it relaxed, and what the action is, you're pulling the strings forward, if that makes sense. So practice this for a little while. That's thumb, one, two, three. See my pinky? Some people like to anchor your hand by just resting your pinky softly on the soundboard like so. Some people don't, they play like that. Quite happily, I prefer to have my pinky there just to, uh, I don't know, it gives me some grounding, I guess. So the pattern I've chosen to use for this song goes like this. I'm actually using my, these two fingers, so it's number two and three on the bottom two strings and alternating with the first finger on the third string, like so. And then occasionally I'll use my thumb on beats one and three like this, but one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. And then the tricky bit at the end goes like this. We've got the C chord and our tricky D7 chord. One, two, thumb, three, one, two. One, two, thumb, three, one, two. Thanks so much for watching and thank you patrons, we have now 70 patrons on our Patreon page and we have over 700 subscribers on the YouTube channel and that's amazing and thank you so much for your support. Uh, don't forget to tune in if you can't make it to the Uke Night on Thursday the 30th of August uh, around 7 o'clock Sydney Australia time. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. 
There's a swirl in the sun And a swirl in the sky There's a smile on the face Of everybody passing by 